This video explains how crawl spaces get wet and what you can do about it. Water constantly tries to enter the space from all directions. From the bottom, rising ground moisture evaporates out of the earth floor. Moisture enters through both the below and above grade walls by leaks, wicking, and diffusion. Plumbing leaks, flooding, and spills add water from above. And as the field test reveals, humid outdoor air adds moisture. Wetting is made worse by condensation, which happens when damp crawl space air hits cool surfaces such as air conditioning ducts, pipes, and floor insulation. Of high concern is condensation on wood framing. When wood condensation ramps up the wood moisture content, conditions are ripe for mold growth. So how do you keep crawls dry? At the top of the list is a polyethylene ground vapor retarder. The poly keeps rising moisture from evaporating into the space. When you see water droplets beneath the poly, you know it's working. To be effective, cover all exposed earth. Dark stains and efflorescence are clear signs that below grade walls are leaking. Wall damp proofing and foundation drains keep water from entering through the below grade walls and site grading, gutters and downspouts direct rainwater away from the building. Wall liners provide a strong line of defense for any moisture that makes its way through the walls. Until this plugged up air conditioning drain gets fixed, gallons of water per day keep wetting this crawl space. The homeowner's job is to make sure that leaks, spills, and floods are promptly dealt with. How do you prevent humid outside air from entering and wetting the crawl space? The field test comparison demonstrates that closed crawl spaces with air sealed walls stay significantly drier than wall vented crawl spaces. www.crawlspaces.org has the information you need to build, repair, and maintain dry crawl spaces.